So I've realized at least one thing I've done wrong. Oh, uh, thinking about how to make these collisions per pixel perfect. Um, so here I'm like, why why do I see stuff when it's really small, but I don't see anything when it's when it's this? Well, let's say it's falling. Sh if d n is really falling short, the distance to the next voxel. If that's really falling short. Um, then it will fall short every single time it's called, right? Because we we recalculate the distance from the to the next we recalculate the distance to the next voxel using our current point and our current direction, right? So current point, current direction, we recalculate that. So if this is always falling short, then if we just use it without any type of multiplier, it will always fall short. And so I'm like, well, why does it have to be divided by 0 0.25 to actually work? And, uh, or why does it be, have to be divided by 4 to work? Like, the, what the hell is the sense in that? And, uh, but it doesn't work when we divide it by a small number or we make it a fraction. It just, uh, it just ends up creating a slice plane. And, uh, the way it creates a slice plane is by taking the distance to the next voxel and always dividing it. That means you're going to ray march almost the distance to the next voxel, but not quite. And you're going to do that every single iteration, which means this is a devil's this is a devil's staircase. It's like this is this is similar to by using a fraction here, by using a fraction here or dividing by a whole number and making this fractional by making dn fractional. That's like saying, okay, the distance uh, to the other side of the road, I want you to walk halfway the distance to the other side of the road. Then you're in the middle of the road. I'm like, okay, I want you, now the distance uh, to the other side of the road is like, I don't know, 50 meters. So now I want you to walk 25 meters. Okay, now you're at 25 meters. Okay, I want you to walk halfway the distance to, to the other side of the road. So now you walk like... Um, you walk like 14 meters or something, I, uh, 25, 26, 13, whatever, right? You walk 13 meters, but you get the idea that you, you would, uh, if you're always, uh, walking here or marching, uh, less than the full length, then of course you're never going to get to the next voxel, right? <clears throat> and so, so basically we're just stuck at whatever voxel we started at. So, um, if this indeed is falling short, right, then if this always falls short because the calculation is off by one, then you also have the same problem of you never get to the next voxel, right? So let's take that for a second because we expect to see absolutely nothing, right? So let's, uh, let's run that, make sure that we don't, that we see that it isn't going anywhere, right? So yeah, everything's black. Now, um... We know that our, our native units are pixels, so plus 1.0, right? Add just one pixel to that, right? And let's see if I'm a magician and I'm pulling something off, or if I'm just full of shit. So let's just add 1.0 to that. And nothing. God fucking damn it. Um, that was my best bet. That was my best guess. Um, we could try half the half the width. Of a, vo of a voxel and just see if that gives us anything. Can we get anything? Can we can we at least get some type of feedback or is it just? Nope, nope. Uh, we're just fucked here, huh? Um, yeah. So I don't know what that's about, but. Okay, so I don't, yeah, I don't know. Um, so that's not right. Uh, I thought that maybe we'd be off by one. Well, let's try like minusing. I don't know why a minus would be correct because uh, I think minus is actually going in the wrong direction. But let's let's just try because we you know we've tried other things. We might just what, what the fucking hell. We're 
overshooting? No, how the fuck can we be overshooting? Um... That's... well, I guess maybe... You know what, I think... no, I think that when we undershoot, we just do a cross-section. And when we... <clears throat> when we overshoot, and we actually get into another voxel, it's... it's... Uh, it's basically giving us a fuck you and... And not rendering for some reason. Uh, um, so why would it just be like a 1.0, right? Like adding 1.0 to that, and all of a sudden, all of a sudden, um, we're like, all of a sudden, is just adding one more to this. How is it that just adding one more to this is like, whoa, you're way, way way too far like how how is that how is that even possible i don't understand how that is even possible um so i'm thinking that even though we don't see anything this is somehow more correct but um So this should really just be really easy because, you know, our camera is straight down, the specter is straight down. <clears throat> this should not be this difficult. Um... Right? Once we know what, uh... What our voxel value is, right? Then, um... Once we know what our voxel value is, we should just be, like, um, getting out of there, right? Um, hold on. Hold up. Hold the fuck up. Uh, this break is inside of four. And if we're gonna... If we put the... Yeah, we can't do that. This break is not going to exit... Um... This loop here... Yeah, we're never gonna exit that loop if 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 we have this thing here, and and this was a hack in the first place, so this is just just no. Get rid of that. Okay, we want this break to actually get out of the fuck. Okay, let's uh let's give that a try to see what we got.
Oh, interesting. Yeah, that's actually what we want. Um, God, fuck it. All right, so let's uh let's uncomment this, right? Let's uh let's uh kind of like let's clean stuff up a little bit and let's, man, did so much stupid shit. So much stupid shit was so many stupid mistakes were made today. Uh, yeah, and probably yesterday as well. So this uh, 1.0, let's uh, let's uh, put 0.0 because I'm gonna guess that uh, our our pixel perfect math might actually be pixel perfect, and we might not need that 1.0 after all. So let's um <clears throat> let's just put that back in there and just look at what we have. Damn, mother fuck. Okay, yeah, so that's what I want. That's what I want. Yep. Um, that is what I want. That is what I would expect. Um, that, that looks, that looks good. That fucking looks good, man. Um. Okay, so you know what we're gonna try now? We're gonna try to change the, uh, perspective and see if we can, if we can get some bonus, <clears throat> some bonus footage. Uh, so we have the, uh, cam camera type orthographic. Let's see if, uh, if that now renders in the correct way. So we're gonna save this and we're just gonna, we're gonna see if we can, uh, finally get a big payout for all the shit we've done. Or all the stupid ass being stupidness we've done. Um, so, um, all right, I mean, um, kinda, 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 kinda. Um, actually, no, that's about right. It's just not. The camera's upside down. Um,. The camera is upside down, but that looks about right. It's not, it's not perfect. There's these like little tips that are on there. But let's uh, try to zoom the camera out. So control F, let's uh, zoom. I know we had like some type of zoom. Uh, so zoomed in camera. So we're gonna zoom that camera out. Save that. Control A, Control Copy. So, so that actually does look um, correct. It, it, it's still there's still some problems with it, but it's like it's okay, right? So we have, yep, right. And so we're slicing through the voxels, and uh, we just have like this off by one problem, right? Where, um. It's like at those corners, we're kind of like off by one. But. So we might want to rethink the idea of. Of, um. I don't know, let's have some more fun. Let's, uh, you know, it's not quite where we want it to be. Um, there's, there's some off by one errors. But we're we're getting somewhere, right? Um, so in the the camera where we're kind of like doing all this tricky stuff, um, this is our three fourths view camera, and uh, if we just uh, multiply this by I don't know. Um, oh no, let's uh. So this dolly amount here. Yeah, if we just multiply that by uh, 0, 0.0, right, and we just we just make it so that we're just gonna warp the we're gonna warp the lens by uh, making this plane, this part of the plane, this vertex of the plane isn't gonna move. We're gonna see like how that kind of like warps uh, what we're working with, right, and just see what kind of happens when we do that, right? <clears throat> just so we can have some fun. And see how we can um, 
I'll tell you what, it's not what I expected. I expected to see something kind of warp, and that's not what I got. Uh, how about L? How about L times 0.0, .0 here, right? <clears throat> Let's try that. So if we take two sides, <clears throat> um, and nothing, nothing, and... That could be because uh, the warpage of the of the um, slice plane doesn't really. Oh, we can see that there's like a line right there. The warpage of the slice plane isn't really. The uh, the ray has been kind of like hard coded. The ray direction has been hard coded, so we wouldn't expect to see. So if the ray marching works, yeah. So that so that's probably just um, it's not a, we're not really seeing much just because it, the normals of our view rays aren't changing. Um, so we still have some problems, especially like this. Uh, now is it just like? So I think we should have um, doing everything where like the native units are one pixel might have been a bad idea, um, <clears throat> just because I think we're getting a lot of like off by one errors that are giving us like a lot of little bumps and and whatnot on the geometry here. Whoa, I didn't realize there was a little grid there. Where the hell? Uh huh. Interesting. Um. So. We're going to have to figure out uh, why, what's, what's with these little dots, right? And if we look at the distance to the next, um, right, we had all this troubleshooting. If we do distance to next, and we do like, uh, how if we do like 0 0.5? You know, just let, let's just give some things, like, let's just try some things. So let's say we bump it up by 0 0.5. Do we, do we get rid of artifacts, or, or does it still look the same? Kind of still looks the same, really. Um, Um, I think to get rid of artifacts, we should actually, our base unit might need to be a pixel times three, um, like uh, three by three pixels is is um is equal to one pixel, and if you're directly in the center of that, then um then it's like a one hundred percent probability um that you're like inside of some uh that you're 
there's no anti-aliasing here, right? So, without any anti-aliasing, um, I think that is part of what's going to create some of these problems here. No anti-aliasing. And I think if our base unit were, were to be exactly... I, yeah, I'm just... It's just a guess that if our, if our, our units are... Uh, three frag chords equals one pixel, then we can kind of have like this probability cloud for a pixel, and we can use that for like aliasing effects on the edges. Let's uh, take a look at, um, so you know, I'm gonna put that in our notes. So we have these notes here. Uh, pixel probability cloud. Uh, let's make sure that we spell probability correct. Uh, pro probability. Yes, we did. Okay. So, uh, pixel probability cloud and uh, hashtags like that. And he should probably have one pixel equal to three native frag cards. Um, that way, if you are in the center of the pixel, you know you don't need to alias, but if you are on the edge on um so something like something like this right so instead of a pixel being like this um our pixel is like this so one pixel is like this. So <clears throat> this is one pixel. And we can make like a little um, maybe make some little arrows, make a little nice diagram, make it all decorative. We spent enough time debugging. Let's 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 uh, enjoy ourselves just doing something that doesn't make us fucking crazy, right? Okay. And uh, right here. Um. Can't really do that, can we? You gotta like separate it. Um, we could do. No, if we do that, we gotta we gotta move it like a little bit. Okay. All right, that that's kind of fun. Let's uh. Right, and then um, this diagram will be um. Uh, we could probably do underscores, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> one frag chord. <clears throat> so that that might be something that we need to do. Okay, so that's just a, this is just a thought for, for what I think might need to be done. So to do maybe, we should probably have one pixel equal to three native frag chords. Uh, that way, if you are in the center of the pixel, you know you don't need to alias, but if you are on one of the border edges, you know you need to use some aliasing. So one fragment chord, and then one pixel, right? So the center, 
um, is where we don't need any aliasing. X. Center. No aliasing. Uh, required. Okay. So with that, let's look at our zoom again. So let me zoom in. Um, are the artifacts larger than... Uh, are the artifacts larger than one pixel? Like, do the artifacts get bigger? Like, if we zoom in, do we get larger artifacts? Or or is it just a problem with... Um, so here, this looks like... Okay, so yeah, the artifacts are, are, are more than one pixel, right? It's not just aliasing here. There is some type of problem with with the uh yeah there's some type of problem with So a simpler solution, a simple solution might be, um, you know, if we're on the border, if we get close to a border, we could, um, we could uh, render the border. We could, um, yeah, I don't know. So... So yeah, we obviously have uh, some type of artifact, and it's not just... The thing is, is we only have so much precision when we start to use fractional values. Um, <clears throat> so that's also going to be a problem if we're trying to like zoom in like this. Uh... Okay, well, you know what? This is good for, like, um... Attempting to get gray marching into your voxels. Working. Problem is... That... Seem to have large artifacts on corner corners. Um, voxels are designed as 3D tiles, each tile be 16 by 16 by 16 pixels. Uh, pixels are Our pixel size is exactly the same size as frag as a single frag cord size. Uh, that makes any sense. Uh, to keep keep um, so we're gonna save this and yeah we're just gonna say we're done I don't know what's up with this yet but um We're kind of figuring something out, all right. So let's take this and uh, let's just post the. Uh, let's like make absolutely sure that this is the same thing. So I pasted that again. Uh, put it there. Okay, that's good. 
And uh, we're gonna hit the save button again. And then we're gonna go to uh, tiny tinyurl.com slash sdf012, uh, right? 12, yeah. And we're gonna take the code that we've worked on, right? Because we want the code at the end of the day to uh, be in paste bin so other people can see it if they want it. And we'll just uh, go control A, we'll paste it right there. And we'll, we'll hit uh, save changes. And now we kind of like have it. Uh, unique visits to the space. So now we have have this. And you know what? I think that also, um, also let's, uh, while we're here, obviously, uh, let's, let's go to, um, let's add our twitchurl.com. So, um, cause I think that, um, <clears throat> uh, um, twitch, Stream where I have been writing this uh, this code. Live stream of me working on this code. <clears throat> And we'll just use uh, Twitch URL. And we can shamelessly self uh, self uh, advertise here. We could like uh, we could just we could um, go like this. <clears throat> and we could we kind of block that out. And just just make it nice and obnoxious, yeah. Um, and let's get rid of the WW. Let's, uh, okay, yeah, so, you know, some shameless, shameless self-promotion, because, um, you know, um, uh, because I guess, uh, let's, <clears throat> okay, so that's, wait, hold on, and, eh. Okay, yeah, I like that. <clears throat> it's uh, this this is slightly off center, which kind of annoys is, annoys me a bit. Um, <clears throat> if really wanted to, we could go probably like a. Um, is it an odd number if we go https colon slash slash www dot, and that is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's an even number as well, so it doesn't fucking matter. So even if we want to be OCD and add that just to make it an even number, that's not going to change it. Um, yeah, we're just we're just stuck with it like that. Um, 
Now, actually, we might want to just um, just keep it like this, so that way it's really easy uh, to just grab this, right? So we can just kind of like, if somebody wants to just grab it, grab that URL really quick, uh, it's a little bit easier if there's like space, right? So, psh, right? Um, Yeah, let's uh let's do that let's keep it like that um okay so now that we've kind of edited that let's uh uh edit this once more and let's go control a and we're done for today by the way we're, we're pretty much done you don't have to stick around this is just me kind of like thinking through how to like uh you know i don't have any viewers so let's uh let's strategize on you know, how can we get views and the algorithm for Twitch ain't going to do it, that's for sure. So let's go over here. Let's uh, control A, control V, and let's uh, post this here, right? So let's post and yeah, actually not post. What the hell am I doing? Save. Um... So now that that's there, um, we have we have it where it needs to be. Uh, refreshing this, we got the like little live stream. Um, okay, yeah. So that's good. That's good for me. I mean, um, yeah, I think that's good. I'm done. Um, you know, I don't know how to fix what we've done. We screwed up here. Um, maybe if I read about voxels a bit, maybe I can figure it out. Um, but we're we're done. I'll try to figure it out. I don't know. Um, yeah. Interestingly, I can't see on this monitor, but I can see on my little preview that there is like a little hexagonal, or not hexagonal, but like a orthographic cube kind of grid in black over here i can't see it on my mo on my monitor i can see it on my right monitor i can't see it on the main monitor but i can see it um that right here like right here is uh there's like a checkerboard pattern and uh but only only on my uh yeah i can't see it on all my monitors but um because it's very dim but on this monitor on one of my monitors it has enough contrast where i can make that out so i might want to color sample uh which colors those are i think that just might be my gradient for how far we've ray marched um okay yeah so we're we're good i'm i'm gonna stop the stream